this baby is comfortable and it's not going anywhere and you can have your hands free and do whatever you want comb your hair do your makeup do whatever i can show you how to put on your baby like this in the moby baby carrier okay so i'm going to teach you how to wear the moby wrap when you first see it it looks very daunting it's so long look at this but first step is to put the tag it comes with the tag that's exactly in the middle so you can align the tag with your belly button and then the second step is you want to take it over to your back and cross it over like this that's the second step you bring it over your shoulders like this make sure it's nice and snug you want it to be nice and snug because that's how the baby will feel then um, the third step now that it's come to the front you want to grab these two you can cross it over like this this is the third step cross it over get one side and put it through I find this easier actually put one side through like this while it's already crossed over so that's the third step so it's already crossed in here and then you want to hold this pull them down this is the fourth step pulling them down over so that it's nice and snug and once they're still crossed over you take them to the back again like you did before and then you're still crossing them over at the back and then bringing them towards you and then the final step is just to tie in front you can tie two knots so that it's nice and secure and now you're ready for battle yeah yeah karate chopping so anyway so once that's done you can now take your baby <coughs> Okay, this is how you put on the baby. So the side that is closest to you, in this case it's this side, you, that's where you put the baby's first foot. So you put the baby over your shoulders like this, grab the side, put on the little feet, the little foot in, and then you turn, you swap the baby over to the other shoulder. And then you put the other foot in like this then you create a nice comfy seat there we go nice and comfortable and snug snug not snug <laughs> and then you remember the tag the one that you folded on the middle it's there for a reason so this tag is like a a seat belt for the baby so you lift it up you put the little feet in and you lift it up like that the feet can be in or out so in this case baby's feet are inside especially with their first born you want to keep the nice feet nice and warm and then if you want the feet out you can just lift up as well like this and then that feet can be out done so you have you seen how when I do, when I stretch over like this, the baby's not going anywhere. It's different with the other wrap. The other wrap, because it's very stretchy, I don't feel the baby's as snug. I don't feel like I'm carrying, it doesn't provide that extra security for the baby, I think. So my to-go to wrap will always be the Moby, for now. Some of the safety things you should do when the baby is in this wrap is make sure that you, you are able to kiss their head and their chin should always be up and not down towards the wrap. They should always they should always have access to air like this. And then when they're sleeping, you can actually use one of the sides to wrap, to put their head over like that towards you. And then they can have a good nap there. Right now he won't let me do that because his up is just from sleeping. He won't me to cover he won't allow me to cover him. So this is how easy it is. And it's so good. If you guys would like, what did I say? I was going to say. <laughs> I wonder if Olivia Grace can still fit in this wrap. Olivia, come. Let's see. Are you scared? This is a four-year-old. We're trying it on. Mama, are you just being silly? No, I wish I was. You wish you were being silly. <laughs> you need to put your leg in here. Oh, it's kind of 
Baby, don't lay back. <laughs> so, what's up? 